Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here. Welcome back to more of Super Mario Sunshine. Last time, we did 100 coins in Gelato Beach. And then we got started on Peanut Park. Everything else between that, that and here? Ha <laughs> uh, ha. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, it's time, for the, it's time for the secret of the secret. Where we collect 8 red coins across these disappearing platforms. But we don't have to worry about them disappearing as much because we have a safe- we have a safeguard. Against stupid. Uh, somebody's stupid. Not my stupid. Trust me. I will find a way to somehow botch this. Here I go, botching it. Stop. Back up. Reverse, reverse. Uh, I think the rest are up on this next area. Which is gonna be fun to get to because we gotta get up there quick like. Actually, it's this one and then this path, so. As I said, the dive technique is faster than anything else you can do. Oh, it spawns right there. I thought it spawned a little further out. Anyway. We're fine. We're safe. We're cool. We are coasting, my my dudes. My guys. My friends. My compadres. My mi amigos. Mis cumpleaños? That's, that's birthday. Don't say my birthdays. <coughs> I'm a problem, okay? I am fully aware that I am a problem and a menace to society, and I should be put on some kind of leash for for my crimes against humanity. Someday. Not today. Okay, probably today. <laughs> Hi, I'm making a great opening argument for why I am entertaining and not stupid. I hope you enjoyed this TED Talk. We're going to call it TED Talk. Anyway. We're, we're not going to... The opening cutscene doesn't matter too much. Also, we get these creatures. Okay, I gotta show this off because this is something an interaction you don't really get at all. So these are flying stews. I think if they, I think if they land on you, they can take your hat. Oh! I don't know. I'll let them take. I think these enemies can take your hat. I'm just not sure how they go about doing it. But I think it's the only time an enemy will. Drop. We'll let you uh, get. Also, hold on. Let me do this really quick. Hi. Oh, it's ever bright here, little man. Try a pair of special sunshades. And this is come back talk to you. You don't need them anymore. So yeah, basically this is what you get for thirty shines. Is you get sunglasses. Huh? You can actually see Mario's eyes a little bit behind the sunglasses. But this actually, this. It actually kind of muddies the overall appreciation of this. But anyway, as I was saying, the opening cutscene you don't need to worry about until now. This is the real opening cutscene for what you're trying to do today. So there are eight red coins here, and we're going to do things a little... We're going to do things a little offset, so to say. Because we to get three of the coins, we have to go on the pirate ship, which is fine. Also, I'm going to... I'm gonna wait, cause this pirate ship does a, th these pirate ships do a loop. And I think this is okay. You know, what? I'm going now. This is probably a mistake. Eh? But yeah, the uh, 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 what what just happened? Something just happened there, and I'm not sure if I consent to what just occurred. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, there is a clear defined way you're supposed to do the pirate ship thing. Uh, that you're supposed to do the, uh, the whole, this whole pirate ship thing, but I'm kind of kind of try and go off the rails a little bit. More or less, I'm going to try and approach from an upper area. Oh god. Tree, what is your wisdom? Apparently your wisdom is do it the right way. Anyway, um... But yeah, I'm going to try and get a, a higher approach to this place before I do to try and get these red coins. Because there is a way where you just kind of, you know, hover in place, jump off the boats. Yada, yada. Can I not be behind the waterfall? Thanks. But this is what I'm going to do. Oh god, the frame rate. The frames have left. Fine, I'll do it your way. But I'm going to kind of do... But I do want to do it this little... uh. 
kind of not intended way. Simply because doing it the, doing it the not intended way. Oh, did they just... Yeah, they just went around. Yeah, see, they go around. Anyway, let the momentum cancel out a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to go across to this. No, I'm not. There we go. Now I'm going to go across to this one. Okay. Uh, all or nothing, I guess. There we go. But yeah, I'm kind of going to go about this a backwards way because all they want you to do is to get the coins on the pirate ships. And then go up and around on these gratings that you see here to get the other coins. But something you can't see from here is that one of the coins is actually uh, actually has a... Can I get around to the side? I'm not going to try that. Uh, one of the coins you can get here actually is a blue coin semi-guarding it. It's that one up there. Yeah, there's a blue coin guarding it. I say guarding it, but really it's just a natural progression kind of thing. But yeah, for those of you that play Mario World, you kind of know how to deal with some of these enemies here. Uh, they they function. They basically are just like the turtles in about like the first Bowser Castle level. Pound on the opposite side of where they are, and you get rid of them and make your way clear. So that there's no, nothing different than that. And they make a unsettling noise as they go. Oh, I didn't realize there was a coin on the other side, underside here. Okay, so that's the last. That is supposed to be the last red coin you acquire. I think our, the other two we're supposed to acquire are actually across the way. Now I'm going to kind of do a... Well, I'm going to go the way the game wants you to go. And then I'm going to go the game the way the game doesn't want you to go. Because, as I said, there is a red coin in here. and I'd Or a blue coin in here. And I'd rather not get it because I already got edited in that one blue coin as is. So yeah, just let me have my moment. Apparently, let me have my several moments. Holy cow, help. You know, I used to be so good at side hopping. And then I forgot. Anyway, there's a blue coin on there. I will say, I will say, like, I've never gone, I've never really gone for 100% blue coins. But I want to say, like, 100% blue coins might be the easiest on Peanut Park. Just because it's so easy to see all of them. Like, it's disgustingly easy to see all the blue coins on Peanut Park. Anyway. Eighth red, co eighth red coin. Shine appears here. And that's really it. I know, we spent so long with these eight red coins. I'm surprised how long it took. Is that... I think that's all we've done today so far, is actually just red coins. Well, don't worry. It's pretty soon here. I'll make up for that by, by doing everything else surrounding red coin, everything else but red coins for at least the rest of a video. Now I think is this the episode or is this the mission where we unlock the thing that I've been hinting at for so long that everybody's been like, please just stream, go faster and get to the one thing. I think it might be. I think this is it actually. So the wilted sunflowers. We've seen these wilted sunflowers here and there. And what look to be Yashi eggs. Oh boy, it's my friend Yashi. You're not very nice. Well, you can say they're Yoshi, but they're not Yoshi. Slap down. Anyway, um, so you will learn very quickly that uh, these are not your friend Yoshi. As you see, it's not your friend Yoshi. Anyway, the whole thing with them is you kind of want to go with them into trying to land, ground pound on you, and then you have to ground pound in the back. Although they don't... From what I remember, they don't wait very long to ground pound back. And... Listen, I'll let you discer discern what you think that word was. I'll let you use your own discretion, but for these guys, you need to have them ground pound... You need to have the ground pound on sand. Would you like to do the thing, maybe? 
But yeah, they, they need a ground pound on sand in order for to do their thing. But when they do that, you basically revive the sunflower. Anyway. Would you like to do your thing? Thanks. Can I get my life back? Anyway. Uh, recommendation is that you only do these one at a time. Because of how they function. Yeah, just because of how they function, doing them any more than one at a time is a little rough. It's going to be a little rough on you. I mean, you can do it more than one at a time if you want to. I'm sure you would. Oh, there are many coins out here. Well, that's a blue coin. As, a, as is evident right there. Yeah, just... I don't know. I feel like Peanut Park is the easiest place for blue coins. Anyway. Rise and shine. I think this one's going to be the hardest to do just because uh, we're, he's going to try and follow you. And the first place he'll try and crash land is not exactly sand. Never mind. Okay. Came uncorked. But yeah, this one is not exactly easy to do just because the sand where it can land is, you know... Very wide open. Hi. You're all so... So vibrant. So many sun, so, so many sunflowers. Alright, hey. You should follow me out here. Follow me out here. Follow me out here. Good night. And after, and after doing that with all five of the turtle egg things... Okay, I don't know if that's just me, but that sounded like... That actually sounded like Rosalina. So was Rosalina's current voice actress that, like, they try out for the role... For a role in Super Mario Sunshine, and they're like, here, just play this plant. And then they're like, okay, you did a good job. Come back. You get to be a, you get to be a staple character for the whole series now. Now, I think what's going to happen is because we did do that mission... Yep. Back in Delfino Plaza... Things have changed drastically. See, that was the precursor. This starts unlocking stuff that we could have done. And it'll... And it... Uh, dip. Ow. Um. It starts basically doing... It starts a whole... Uh, what you want to call it? What you... Uh, what do I want to say? A series of we unlock stuff by completing like, X amount of shines. Anyway. Hi, Shadow Mario. Hey, can I have that? It looks That looks vaguely friend-like. Can I have my friend? Thank you for giving me my, my friend. I'm about to ride the Yoshi, too. So yeah, Yoshi's in the game. Yoshi works a little weirdly in this game, and I'll just... I'll give a quick buffer on it before we go forward. So, to get Yoshi, you feed it a specific fruit. And then you get Yoshi. So Yoshi... Is on a t so Yoshi is both on a timer. Is Yoshi's on a timer, but he f he does a lot of the same stuff you can do, along with the flutter jump. So you got the triple jump. You can triple jump with Yoshi. You can shoot. You can shoot juice, which is his water source. But because because of a thing with Yoshi. Oh, he actually eats those. But because with how uh, Yoshi works, you can't really go into water with Yoshi, I'll say. Also, 360 degree spray action. I hope everybody's hungry for juice. <laughs> so yeah, that is something we, we have access to, is just Yoshi barfing everywhere. But, oh, it's not doing it right now. So... The, what's supposed to be happening is that gauge in the lower right corner is supposed to be slowly depleted. Actually, you can barely see it. Actually, you saw it pretty good there when it started turning the camera. Uh, oh. Does it not slowly drain like in all the other versions of... Like in the original version of this game? Does it just go down by, by meters? Weird. So, what is going on with the juice meter? Anyway. Basically, that's your timer for Yoshi. Whether you're... Uh, I think it's... I think it's... Uh, not that. I gotta remember what button it is. There is a b button to dismount Yoshi. Is it just X? It's X. 
Kind of like it is with Mario, with Mario World. So whether you're on Yoshi or off of Yoshi, that juice meter will slowly go down. If that juice meter hits, starts hitting the bottoming out, this Yoshi will turn green, being your visualization that he's about to run out of juice. And then he'll also start blinking out of existence. Refill the juice meter by eating any fruit. Now, they want us to have Yoshi for a couple things here. Uh, first of all, eat that to gain access to a level. Huh, you can just straight up eat the birds. Noted. That'll be important later. Actually, I think we, we have actually... I think we've now actually gained access to a lot of stuff. But Yoshi has... Yoshi's... Uh, spit has a... Spit slash... Vomet, as, I, as we can call it. Oh, boy. Nailed it. Um, but yeah, Yoshi... Uh, Yoshi's... Spray of Justice, we'll call it now. Also dissolves... Those things. Which I think I actually just uncovered a blue coin, that's all it does. I don't know what they are, but apparently they, re they, re they react violently to the acidic nature of juice. I'm about to make a mistake here, watch. And as I said, Yoshi can't swim in water. So that's the end of our tutorial on Yoshi for now. But, Yoshi can be acquired many times. As many times as you want. Anytime Yoshi dissipates, uh, after you unlock him, Yoshi will then appear... Yoshi will appear on a... I gotta show you. Yoshi should appear on that roof across from us. Yoshi? I guess not. Oh, he appears when he drops. Okay. So I guess the for now the game has set his spawn point to right here in the plaza. But in the future, Yoshi will spawn on top of that roof over there. And that's where you gotta get the fruit to. Which it sucks if Yoshi decides he wants a durian. Yes, I'm explaining stuff way too much in detail, but I need to do this. Which I will say, any fruits in the game, you can pick up with, you can pick up with Y. Uh, durians? No. Too spiky. You can kick them. Yeah, you can kick them, you can soccer them all over the place, but you cannot, you cannot physically pick up a durian. Anyway, now that we've had all that done, um... I think to round out today's episode... We're gonna go back to Rico Harbor, so I can do next. So I can do a. So next time I can do a bonus mission. Yeah, next time I can do a bonus mission. A bonus mission in in. Uh, I can do a bonus mission in Delfino Plaza, and also do the 100 coins in Rico Harbor. Finally, Yoshi's Fruit Adventure. This was something. This is what was being barred from us for so long. Is we needed to unlock Yoshi in order to do this mission. And I will tell you that Yoshi does not spawn here until you unlock him in Delfino Plaza. Now I will say that the uh, that how we're going to acquire Yoshi in this level uh, dates back to what I just did a little tutorial on with the with the durian, because where we're trying to go, excuse me, pardon me, where we're trying to go is to the top of these weird looking vats over here. And we need to ground pound on them. Until we get a very specific fruit. And that fruit in question is a dur is indeed a durian. Not a papaya or a pineapple. What if I have what if I have papaya apple? Don't ask. Ow. Now this kind of sucks to do because there it is, the durian. So it's on a rotation. It spits out. It spits out one of the six possible fruits. It spits out one of the six possible fruits at any given time. But if you manage to lose the durian when you get do get to pop out, the durian is just kind of gone, and then you have to do that again. So we're just gonna kick it over to to Yoshi, and just be like, "What durian? Smelly f durian? Mine?" So what I meant before by Yoshi would help with some missions is. Well, Yoshi will eat butterflies. Oh, give me that one up, please. Excuse you. Eating eating yellow butterflies does get a coin. And eating blue butterflies gets you... Come on, do it. A blue coin. So, Yoshi's, ap Yoshi's insatiable appetite is good for something. Also, the tongue does kind of track... 
The tongue does track a little bit towards your target, but not so much. Anyway. Um, Alright, now that I've wasted enough time. So what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to... Is we're supposed to spray down these uh, bloopers oh. and use them as rideable platforms? The weird things you don't want to question about a Yoshi and its anatomy, by the way. And the color that the Yoshi is does affect how the bloopers will act. Uh, we're gonna come over here. Something I should say. I did say Yoshi kind of functions. Yoshi functions almost the same as Mario. Well, yes and no. No, give me give me the man on. Fine, I'll just do it this way. Um, Yoshi cannot wall jump. Especially with the fact he's got Mario on his back. Uh, Yoshi cannot wall jump. Yeah, Yoshi cannot wall jump. He can do the spin jump. or And he cannot do the side hop either. Yeah. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's my ride right there. Anyway, but yeah, Yoshi cannot do the side hop or uh, or a wall jump, but he can do pretty much everything else Mario can do. Anyway, we're gonna dissipate this stuff, and Yoshi's coming with us because Yoshi worked for this, so Yoshi gets to do this. By the way, reminder where we are: we're above water. So Yoshi drops in the drink. You gotta redo the whole process over. Anyway, we're going in. Uh, can Yoshi not do this? Uh, Yoshi. Yoshi, get in there. I'm gonna get Yoshi in there. Fine, Yoshi can't be in here. Sorry, Yoshi, you worked for this, but you don't get to enjoy it. Anyway, let's go do it for now. Next time... Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, I think we're gonna do the one of the most notorious secret shines in Delfino Plaza, followed by 100 coins in, in Rico Harbor, finally. Hold on, I have to put a pin in that because Shadow Mario wants the turbo nozzle. We're not done yet. We're not done yet today. Of course you would have to show up. You better start running, boy. You better start running, boy. How did... Boy. That's fine. I'll take the hit just to keep you in my sights. Could you maybe don't? Does he just does he just do a lap in this little area here? I hate this. Shadow Mario, please just let me do my thing. There, let me have my turbo nozzle. There. Now we can call it. So yes, as I said, next time we'll do one of the most notor we'll do one of the most notorious uh Secret Shines in Delfino Plaza, and then get the coins in Rico Harbor. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.